Hey there, you guys. You're on Learning Hub DBTV on MI Radio with AUI. And yeah, I got my wonderful co host and Thank friend you. here, Zue. Hi, Zue. What Hi are we talking dear. about today? How are you? Yes, we are going to be talking about like career development. So, particularly like turning our passion mm -hmm. into profession. And as usual, we got some special guests from American University of Yanga with us today. Hey, guys. Hello. Yes, please introduce yourself once again. I'm Raven. Um, my first term at AUI. And I'm here again. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome. Hello, uh, this is Philly Fio from American University of Young Girls. Yeah. Guys, nice to be back here again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Sarah, let me start with you. Sarah, mm -hmm. as you are a student, where are you studying right now? And what are your plans for the future? And are you dreaming big of something like? Mm, I feel like if you ask that to a lot of students, most of the answers you'll get is like, I don't know, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Which is fair because if you ever hear your students, I mean, we've all been there before. Yeah. If you ever, you know, your classmate wants to be an astronaut when he was younger, and then what's he doing right now? Probably <laughs> studying human <laughs> anatomy. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like careers change. For me, too, it changes uh, based on impulse. When I was mm -hmm. younger, I wanted to be a pilot when I oh, got wow. onto the plane. Yeah. And then I went to a bakery and I wanted to own a my own place uh -huh. and then not too long ago i went to the beer factory and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god you want to be everything you want yeah. to be everything okay <laughs> so uh teacher philip now that you're working with students and dealing with them every day do you enjoy it of course i do okay yeah, and... uh, i love doing what i'm doing right now mm -hmm. and specifically i think uh the working culture Mm -hmm. Also, it's the but when why okay. I love the job, mm -hmm. and uh, I love to engage with our uh, university students. Okay, and also uh, students from uh, outside uh, who join our external program. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you have any plan on like switching career or something? Uh, no, I would say because no? okay. I think. Uh, my current position, so what I've been doing, mm -hmm. uh, I totally aligns with my interest and passion. So mm -hmm. I don't see any time very soon mm -hmm. on switching to my career. Yeah, but sooner or later, you're going to get tired of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Do you? Do you enjoy your current job, like being a DJ? <laughs> Okay, um, despite my immense gratitude, and I'm not saying that just because people from work are going to watch mm. this, like they know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are aware that like I'm very grateful for this job. Oh, so, yeah. yep. What about you, Sue? Oh, you know me well. <laughs> I love this job so much. I mean, I love presenting and sharing information, which is what I have wanted to do since I was young. Yeah. So, yes, I have a passion for this job. I love being a presenter, of course. Yeah, I can see it in your face. <laughs> 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 I love how Raven is just straightforward. <laughs> All right, you guys. I can so... feel the joy radiating. <laughs> <laughs> he he does love being the center of attention. He does. He does. Maybe like to be spotlight. <laughs> Literally, like he loves it. Like it's not even a joke, Raven. Like okay. seriously. So me. <laughs> All right, my friends. We're here to provide guidance on how to turn hobbies into professional pursuits. So stick around. We got a lot more to talk about. Raven and Philly, what are some simple steps or strategy people can use to connect their hobbies with their like chosen career? Mm, I feel like the first step is finding out what you love to do first. Yes. It's finding your interest. Like try mm -hmm. doing every like things and find out if you uh, if you're interested in and I feel the second step is to find a community because yes. oh, that's, that's where you that's find important. people with yes. similar interests and mm -hmm. that's where they're that mm -hmm. from that point on is that's where you get your first step mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be happy to like, be happy yeah it's priority yeah. No, I think yeah, so I can totally resonate to what uh, Raven just said. Mm -hmm. yeah, the first thing you need to ask yourself a lot of questions. Yes. Right? What's your interest? What you what you're passionate about, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So because I think a lot of Bami students here, they 
you have no ideas or not aware of the passion that they have. Yes. Yes. That's why they are doing something you know, that they don't love to do, mm-hmm. even after graduation, right? Mm-hmm. So the first thing is to ask yourself a lot of questions. What's your interest? What's your passion about? Mm-hmm. So how would you turn that into your uh, career to, bring, mm-hmm. uh, to you know, bridge it a little bit closer to your career? I think, uh, yeah, uh, for students, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I think, uh, yeah, you had to pick up your uh, major that line with your interest first. Yeah. Mm. And then, uh, I think it's this step, the first step might bring you a little bit closer to mm-hmm. your uh, future career after graduation, yes. right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, just know who you are, where you are, Mm-hmm. what you want to do mm-hmm. ask yourself a lot of questions yes. and then just listen to yourself of course it's good to ask you know for help like uh, talk to your parents and talk mm-hmm. to other people yeah. um, or talk to people yeah, in similar, people field. similar field yeah. but mm-hmm. ultimately you are the one i think i would make mm-hmm. uh, the decision you know for your career mm-hmm. preach yes preach <laughs> <laughs> so like did you ever think about like becoming a teacher and working with students when you were in college uh no Oh, <laughs> yeah. do you want to add a little no. more to that? Yeah. Nope. Uh, because I I study uh, uh-huh. business management and oh, business. Okay. I'm sorry, administration. Okay. And specialize in accounting, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, if you you know uh, see me what I'm doing right now, it's totally different from the degree that I graduated with, mm-hmm. right? So that means that uh, there's a, a transition period. A changes occurs in your life. Mm-hmm. Uh, for everyone, I think it's gonna happen to you. So it happened to me uh, two years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I used to work for like financial service companies for two years. Oh, because uh, mm-hmm. that's a degree, you know. Uh, I you know got from you know yeah, universities yeah, yeah. yes. accounting. So uh, I used to work for them, and I think okay, uh, it's not what I you know love to do. <laughs> so then I uh, decided to uh, become a freelancer. So uh, two years ago, mm-hmm. and I started from the beginning, and I mean, I totally switched my career. Mm-hmm. I did. I didn't change the company, mm-hmm. yes. right? And you know, stick to uh, the same career. No, I changed completely <laughs> the career from like an you know, auditor to freelancer. So and now a teacher. Now a teacher. <laughs> this has been quite a journey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. So we will be right back. Welcome back, everyone, to the Learning Heart DBDB program. With my friends today, we are talking about career development and turning our passions into professions. So let's resume our discussion yes. um, with our special guest, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, Philip, yeah. I gotta ask, how do you maintain a balance between pursuing a passion as a career and ensuring financial stability slash success? Financial stability. That's mm. the main yes, thing. Yes, plays a vital role. Okay, okay. So... <clears throat> Um, yes, I, I think uh, what I've been doing so far, mm-hmm. I think it's already my passion. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I've done with that one. So, uh, okay. next question is like, uh, how, you know, what would you maintain your uh, financial security, yep. right? Yes. Why, like, uh, sticking to mm-hmm. uh, your passions, mm-hmm. okay? Um, in order to uh, maintain or to secure uh, financial securities, I think, of course, and everyone expects you know, a higher payment yes. over time, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yep. So what you have to do is to show your performance and to uh, level up your skill set mm-hmm. over time mm-hmm. because you're not supposed to be where you used to, you know, uh, be or two years ago, one year ago, right? Yep. There should yes. be, mm-hmm. you know, progress on the way. Mm-hmm. So uh yeah uh, that's how i do it so i've been around here just for uh, seven months mm. and i uh love what i do okay well, i think I, I would like to put it i do what i love oh. it's not that i love what i do mm. right so from, yeah from yes. my yes. previous works i would describe as i love what i do mm-hmm. so that means i have to force myself to show love performance and mm-hmm. interest in the job but this one mm-hmm. it's like i do what i love mm-hmm. so nobody had to ask mm-hmm. me to do it you know i ask give you more give you more right very romantic yeah <laughs> 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 yeah so you're in line with your passion interest so mm-hmm. uh, of course you have to secure financial uh, security now as well so mm-hmm. how would you do that you're trying to level your skill set mm-hmm. right and then try to show that you are you know ready to take more responsibilities in the workplace oh. Okay. Mm, yes, good yeah. advice okay yes. Yes. what about you Raven as you mm-hmm. were still learning are you afraid that the job you want 
or maybe the field you are studying will not bring like you a uh, financial stability. Of course, I worry all the time. You know, <laughs> as an Asian, you've I've been blessed to be not you know pressured to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. Or I'm so yeah. blessed, <laughs> but then w- because you know times have evolved, civilization has yes. changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, but w- what stays consistent is that you make money. <laughs> because I when I remember telling my mom that mm-hmm. I wanted to pursue something. You know, if it's something that does not, yeah, if it, I wanted to pursue something that's not you know a corporate job, and mm-hmm. my mom was just listening. She kept nodding and nodding. At, after I finished my work, after I finished talking, she was she was. In silence for a moment, and she was like, "Okay, I get it, but then you have to make money." Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll make m- money for you." Yes, we have to make more yeah. money. Yeah. So, so I, why, why did you look at me when you said that? <laughs> <laughs> we have to make more money. I was like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, but, like I, I would rather not be mega rich and mega mm-hmm. miserable. I'd rather mm-hmm. be me struggling doing something I love because my passion does not pay the bills. But at least mm-hmm. I'm happy, you know. Yes. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's that's a nice positive note to leave. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna go Picasso mode and just struggle. <laughs> yes, right, everyone, right. you are now listening to MI Radio's Lenny Hao program. You are still tuning into Lenny Hao on ninety six point one FM and MI Radio. So let's pick up the discussion. So. Raven and、mm-hmm. Philip. So, as、mm-hmm. people who are from the educational field, like you are a teacher and you are a student, so I'm curious, how important is it to find the right major and field of study that aligns with your passion? And what advice do you have for someone in that process? I feel you know because in this society, it's all about competition. Competition、mm-hmm. is high.、Mm-hmm. You, it's different from when you. In the ancient times, where you can do what you love and people won't judge you for it. Yes. Yes.、Okay. But now it's all about you know, who makes money, who does not. <laughs> Even in a family, you get compared a lot. Oh. But、oh, especially I feel is that like I said, <laughs> I'd rather be. She's telling the、yep. feds again. <laughs> I'd rather be rich, not rich, and I'd rather not be rich and struggle,、uh, like, unhappy. I'd、mm. rather be struggling and, you know, not rich.、Mm. So what I think is that. You know, I will want to, people to be able to wake up in the morning and instead of thinking I have to work, instead think, wake up in the morning and think that I'm doing what I love. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, a nice way to look、yeah. at it.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sir,、oh. <laughs> yeah, he's doing what he loves. <laughs> So yeah, the message I think is for、uh, students. Yeah, just Student. try to、mm-hmm. yeah pick up majors and how to, you know,、uh, align with your、uh, future you know、mm-hmm. career. Yeah, I like imagine before,、uh, you are students, you want to join university abroad or here.、Mm-hmm. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to pick up your major, right? Yep. So you don't want to、uh, waste a lot of your time doing something. And、uh, at school, and then and again,、uh, do it completely different when you enter into the corporate, you know,、mm-hmm. environment. So,、mm-hmm. yeah,、uh, to in order to pick a major,、uh, the first thing is、uh, I would like to go back to what I said. Yeah, ask yourself, okay,、uh, what you're passionate about. Okay,、mm-hmm. uh, why subjects and the course and interest you. You know、mm-hmm. what? I think、uh, to turn you know your major or your、mm-hmm. passions right into the career.、Yep. Mm-hmm. I would say. You have to skip number one,、mm-hmm. and you have to jump to number two, right?、Nice. Instead of thinking, your first priority should be what career you are, you know, you are going to take,、mm-hmm. right? And then decide your major,、yeah. right?、Mm-hmm. So <coughs> some students take a major, okay, and then you know they have no ideas about their、mm-hmm. actual or future career,、yes. right? Yes. And it's like、uh, you're curious about it.、Mm-hmm. That's why I'm taking this.、Mm-hmm. I have no ideas about what I'm going to do,、mm-hmm. right? But some students are brilliant.、Mm-hmm. They know the job. They have some experience and general knowledge about、yes. the job,、uh-huh. and then they pick a major based、yes. on the job.、Mm-hmm. And some students, you know, pick their career based on your major.、Mm-hmm. So I think it's better to, you know,、uh, look ahead. You know,、uh, like a、uh, four or five years ahead, what you're going to do,、mm-hmm. the career that you are going to take,、mm-hmm. and then pick your major. Okay, welcome. Yeah, today learning how to sing. Maros, we are what now? Bare, yare, passion, we go. Ah, professional and chacha. Biro, you know, already carry out. Tamu, one zone in a jury. Come up, blue mure. Ah, some chat in the lay, blue mure. Lila, in the lay, sura. Well, learning how to sing. I need to say, ah, this is Bini. Ah, sura. Ah, Philip, Nene. Ah, 
ကျွန်တော်ကြောင်းတာတွေကိုပေါ့เนาะအဲအချို့ဒီပြည့်ခုနာပြောခဲ့ဟာဆိုရင်လဲဆိုရင်တော့တော့စိတ်ဝင်စ